Hey folks, welcome back to Law Creations. Just wanted to share with you uh, a quick video, and uh, I just want to say I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying your weekend and taking some time, you know, to share share some time with your family and doing things that you love, and and hopefully you're finding time uh, to create a little bit and enjoy your collection and and just be uh, creative. So I just wanted to share with you my newest custom diorama. It's a 112 scale Mortal Kombat diorama. It was, uh, this particular piece was inspired by the new Mortal Kombat movie that came out on, uh, I guess it came out in theaters and it came out on uh, HBO Max. So I watched it on HBO Max and I uh, really enjoyed it. And it uh, somewhat inspired me to do uh, a small display. So that's what I went ahead and did here. I wanted to create a, uh, a cleaner, a more, uh, a more I don't know if the word is professional kind of look to, uh, to this particular piece. But uh, I wanted to add a little bit of signage. And I wanted to encase everything in a black border. And that's what I went ahead and did using some uh, Sintra board. And this was uh, this was printed out on my my Cricut machine. And the same thing with the dragon emblem that was printed out using the uh, the Cricut. And as you can see, that can be lit up from behind. It's transparent. So, and the torches are working uh, LED torches. And the uh, the pieces I used for the torches were uh, were chess pieces, and uh, it's I think it cost me a dollar fifty for a plastic little chess piece. And a lot of the pieces uh, make make very cool uh, make very cool torches. And I'm really happy with the hot glue sculpting in regards to the flames. Uh, I'm getting a little bit better with that. I'm really happy with how the uh, the flames look in these particular torches uh, to try to give it a little uh, a, a little bit of realism to the piece. I don't own any Mortal Kombat figures. I do have a McFarlane Scorpion coming in, and he would look uh, pretty badass in this particular display. Although I think this display is going to go up on eBay, and I and I. Chances are I'm going to sell it. It's uh, it's fully magnetized, so it can be easily stored. And uh, yeah, so let's go over the uh, the piece. So like I said, I wanted to give it more of a, a more of a distinctive look, and I kept it clean. I didn't add much weathering. Uh, a lot of people say less is better, and and to an extent, I I agree with that for sure. Depending on the scene. And for this particular scene, it didn't didn't meet, uh, need or require much uh, much weathering. Uh, I did some crackle paste on the flooring. I'll show you guys that. That's a, kind of a different technique that I tried to use on the floor. But we'll check it out and we'll see how it came out. And uh, we'll take a look at the diorama and um, up up close. This particular figure is an articulated icons. It's a brown uh, ninja figure. That's uh, pretty awesome. And he was pretty much the only figure that uh, kind of fit with the aesthetics of the uh, of the piece. So this one took me, you know, I, I thought getting rid of social media and and the distractions would help me improve my my speed and and how I work. And and come to find out, it really doesn't. I, I yeah, it. I'm 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 who I am, and I just take my time, and I'm pretty. Uh, I try to be thorough. I try to pay attention to details, and that's that's pretty much what takes the longest. Those torches, making those torches, pro uh, took me several hours to make to figure out and and just get uh, just get correct and try to you know try to make it look real. So the, you know, even though it's a small display, a lot of time and effort goes into these pieces. And um, I, I hope people that buy them and purchase them understand the, uh, you know, the amount of work that goes into them. Some people can look at a price and say, wow, that's expensive. But, but until you sit down and you really try to hand make something on your own, uh, you, you really don't appreciate the uh, effort and the time that goes into just uh, 
even just painting this sign took a couple you know I you know I airbrushed everything and then I by hand went in and painted the the red even that took a couple hours so uh yeah just it's just the little the little details take a while so so I always appreciate folks that appreciate uh you know the time and effort that goes into uh creating uh a display uh even though small it's still pretty uh it still takes a lot of time and I'm not that seasoned to where I can just uh take a huge piece and just you know just whip it out in in a day uh I thought maybe I could do this in a day and you know maybe I could if I if I worked you know consecutively on it but but I don't I'm not really I don't really get that kind of time to work on my on my pieces so I have to break it up break it up in different uh in different uh sit down times so anyway let's get to the diorama enough rambling uh like i say this uh, uh articulated icons ninja which is really awesome i i believe uh if you search articulated icons on the uh, internet you'll find uh you'll find these guys uh on sale at their store it's 60 percent off and i picked him up for 11.99 and he's uh pretty awesome and it came with a lot of accessories. But uh, anyway, so this was printed out with the Cricut. This dragon was printed out with the Cricut. Uh, and everything else was custom made. So everything is foam board. It's pink insulation foam. So the back wall is half inch. So I went with... Uh, I went with trying the half inch foam board from Home Depot and I found it to be so much cheaper than buying uh, the one inch and it's just as well. The only problem you run into is you might run into a little bit of warping when you paint it. Um, this here is the two inch, I'm sorry, one inch foam board, half inch foam board. Uh, so to give it a little bit of thickness variety and it's just a very, uh, very simple gray palette that I used in regards to color scheme kept it simple gave it a little bit of a wash gave some variation of a brown tint in the in the uh in the piece and like I said I kept it very simple so let's uh it's fully magnetized so it comes apart the torches are chess pieces I may have already said that I'm not sure but these are chess pieces from a plastic cheap chess uh, piece that I picked up at, uh, I think, a Dollar General. I picked it up for a dollar fifty, and it came with all these, all these chess pieces that, and these are the pieces that I made, that I used for the torches. Obviously, when you're playing chess, they go like this, but I figured they would look really cool like that. So that's not the piece I use. Let's let's find the piece that I used to. To give you an idea of, uh, uh, yeah, I don't see them right now, but chess pieces. Keep your eyes open for, you know, different things that you can use in your dioramas. And very, very cheap. Uh, like I say, $1.50 for all of these, and and I can, I have plenty to use. So that's how these torches were made. So like I say, it's magnetized, so let's take it apart and give you guys an up close look at the piece the torches are led torches and they flicker at the end of the episode i'll show you guys uh what it looks like with the lights off and how it really works and you can see the little variation in in the colors and the browns and just gave it a light wash i didn't go crazy with with rusting and anything like that this up here is still a little too bare. I might add, I might add, you know, maybe a banner or something, or I might add something up there. But uh, like I say, it's transparent. So if you want to have an uh, behind-the-scenes kind of a look, look at that. Look how beautiful I did that, huh? Isn't that perfect? Is that so nice and clean? Yeah. <laughs> I I got a little. This is a little bit to be desired, but. Uh, I do have to come up with a better, uh, I got to keep things a little more clean, but that's behind the scenes and that's what gives that front, uh, a nice, uh, a nice aesthetic and, uh, yeah, so this will never be seen or displayed. So 
obviously, but uh, I do need to improve how well I clean up behind behind the scenes. And like I say, that's the front. And like I say, the torches are uh, the chest piece. This is a straw piece. And this is just cut out with some foam to give it that uh, to give it that that look. So that's the back wall. So let's take a look at the floor. So I went ahead and I did the Mortal Kombat sign and wanted to give it a cool little look. So there's the crackle paste effect that I used on the floor, and and hopefully you folks can see the detail. I took a, a small brush and I uh, I went in between the cracks with some red. You can really see it there, and I just wanted to give it a a different flooring. And these these magnets are awesome. I picked uh, I picked up a pack of hundred magnets for uh, ten dollars on eBay, and they're very strong and they work very well. And I had to add this little uh, this little piece at the bottom because of the the battery packs on the back being heavy it it kind of causes the diorama to tilt back but by adding that piece it makes everything nice and uh pretty much level it, it could go forward a little bit more that would be perfect but it, it's good enough so yeah that's my newest uh 112 scale diorama display very very straight to the point, very clean, um, a lot cleaner than than most of my uh, my displays, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this one. This one would make a nice uh, make nice detoff display or or a nice display on your uh, on your shelf with with a nice backlight, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you folks and and uh, encourage you to be creative, encourage you to sometimes think outside of the box. Uh, you know, don't always do uh, do what uh, makes you comfortable. Try to do do things a little different. And uh, I'll be getting back to some 118 scale uh, diorama building shortly. Uh, I'm going to be ordering some joy toys, some acid rain figures, and I do want to make uh, different environments and different structures for uh, for those particular pieces to go in. So that's the beauty of collecting. Not only do I collect and I love my action figures, but I also thoroughly enjoy making displays and environments for them. So let's take a look at the piece when it's uh, lacking some light. And let's get a good idea of, of what she looks like. So it's the middle of the day and it's not as dark in here as it, as it could be. But that gives you guys an idea of, of how nice... Uh, that really looks and I hope you guys can appreciate uh, Appreciate how it looks on video because it, it does look uh, It does look rather awesome in uh, in person. So I just want to share this with you guys I wanted to share, uh, you know create what inspires you create what you love Don't create for the masses and for the crowds, you know, don't create for the likes in the comments create what you love create uh, What brings you? Uh, what brings you joy so yeah i just wanted to share that and enjoy the rest of your weekend i hope you all have a great day and uh, uh take care of yourselves and uh be safe